Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to know about featured products on BigCommerce. Uh, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer and a store owner just like you. And let's get going. Let me share my screen. Boop. All right. So I'm going to show you guys this on Cornerstone. And we're talking about the featured products that show right up here on the homepage. Um, this is something that is only on the homepage, so this isn't something that shows up on any other page. Um, <clears throat> let me show you where to get to it. First of all, if we go into the back end and go to Storefront Themes and then click Customize, then this takes us to the Page Builder or the Customizer screen, whatever you want to call it. And I just want to show you that there are some settings for this here. Um, by default, uh, initially it's set to show four featured products. But if you click into the Theme Styles button right here, click on Home Page and scroll down, there is an uh, option here to increase the number or decrease the number of featured products. So if we want to decrease it to three, for example, it'll automatically um, just show three. Uh, I guess you'd need to adjust the CSS a little bit to uh, not have a little piece hanging off here. But you can set it to show three. You can set it to show more than three. So uh, if we set it to show six, then now it shows six. Now, <clears throat> by default, when you change the number of featured products, it uh, is going to put them in a grid instead of a uh, carousel. Uh, you can have a developer change this to be a carousel if you want. And it is showing this left align, so it's not centering it. You can change it to be centered with a very minor bit of development as well. <clears throat> Um, now, in the Cornerstone backend, it lets you choose up to 12 as how many that you want to show. So this will be a grid that's uh, basically 4 by 3. You can increase it. I believe you can increase this as high as 25. It just, Cornerstone doesn't have that as a built-in option, but a developer could increase it manually to 25 if you want. Now, so that's a little bit about how to, you know, how to control what shows up, right? Um, now, how do you choose the products here? Well, I want to I want to communicate that while I'm setting this to four featured products currently, you can set more featured products than that. So let's say I actually featured 50 products. What Cornerstone is going to do is it's going to take a sample of those 50 and randomly put them here as my featured products, which is pretty cool. So. Um, you know, in here we're controlling how it looks on the front end. Let me show you guys how to actually feature the products themselves in the back end. And there's a couple different ways to do this. There's four ways that I know of. I'm going to show you guys three of them. So one of those ways, if we come into the back end and we click on products and right here on the view tab where we can see all of the products, these little stars over here, that's what features a product. So literally just clicking a star, I just featured that, I just unfeatured that. Really easy. Um, so this is a really like uh, customer friendly or store owner friendly tool, right? Um, so this is one way that you can do it. Another way that you could do it, say we wanted to feature like all of the Koi products in this sample data set, you can also uh, use the bulk edit feature. So like say I wanted to choose just these six or really everything that shows up in this search feature. I think you can do this with up to like 50 or 100 products at a time. But basically you just want to select all the ones that you want, choose bulk edit and confirm. And that takes you to the bulk edit screen. I have a whole other video about this, but this is a cool screen where you can do a lot of things. And one of those things that you can do is feature or unfeature all of the products by basically selecting one and dragging down just like you would on a spreadsheet. It's super cool, super fast. Now this might be overkill for this particular feature, but I did want to show you that that is one way that you can edit um, the products to be featured. Another way that you can do it is if you click into an individual product like this Koi Crunches, and now you're seeing the V3 UI. If you're on an older version, then there's a tab that gets you to this as well, but this is the V3 that everybody's been uh, given uh, for their product interface for the last year, uh, at, you know, at, at the time of this recording. And what you do is click to go down to storefront details, and then right here, set as featured product on storefront. Now, this is great if you're editing a product. If, uh, if you're trying to just set or unset your featured products, it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt to go into 
20 individual products and click the, the, the star. So doing it from the, you know, from the product view or the bulk edit or like a category view, these are going to be much, much faster. Now I said that there was four ways to, can you see my finger? Four, four, I don't know, the angles. Um, there are four ways to set or unset featured products. So one is this view product screen. One is the individual edit product screen. One is the bulk edit screen. Fourth way is you can actually do this with CSV. I'm not going to cover that. That's a whole different topic is editing with CSV, but just know that you can do it in the CSV if you want to do it in mass, uh, which is pretty cool. All right. So we talked about how you can set way more featured products than actually show. We showed you guys how to change the number of featured products that show. We showed you three ways and talked about another way to set or unset featured products. Um, let me show you one more thing or let me raise the question of should we even feature products um, and then we'll talk about I guess let's talk about pros and cons as part of this too so let me go back into the customizer and <clears throat> let's say you didn't want to use the featured product system or maybe you wanted to create featured products on a different page or maybe you wanted to change the name of this featured products label, for example. Now this label actually comes from your Lang file that's inside your theme. So it's a little bit harder to get to it and you may need a developer if you wanna change this label, which, you know, this is a system, the featured product system has been around in BigCommerce for a decade. And so there's, there's reasons for that. The Lang file makes it so that this can be, you know, used on multilingual, which you may not even care about. Um, but if you wanted to change this, you'd have to get into the Lang file, which seems a little onerous. And you may or may not like the fact that it's, you know, deciding which feature, which products to feature based on the list of what you've selected as featured. So you may like the randomization, you may not. Um, you know, BigCommerce will uh, decide what order they want to put these in. And maybe you want to manually order uh, the, the products that you want to tell your customers are featured, okay? So there are pros to using the featured product system, which is it's built in, it's really easy. There's four ways to get them on there, but there's cons in that you don't, you don't have control over the order. You don't have, uh, you know, you don't have some control that you may want on things like the title and all, you know, stuff like that. So let me show you another way. Another way would be to say, I just don't want to show the native featured product system. So I'm going to just mark it as disabled and I'm actually going to disable the new products and the most popular here at the same time, just so that we can start from um, basically a blank homepage with just the carousel on it. And what we can do now is we can go up here into the widgets tab and drag in this product set widget. Now this is one of the native widgets that BigCommerce comes with. And we can just click add a product and type in, you know, a little bit of the text of whatever is going to bring up the products that we want to feature. Um, just taking some random products here and so if we did that, then it will automatically put those products in here. Right. And um, let's see, we can have, well, this one doesn't have a picture, so let's choose a different one. So this is pretty nice. Uh, with this system, we can easily add more products. And you can see that their native widget at least turns this into a carousel, which is really nice. Or we can come down here to the elements and say, oh, I guess, I guess their widget only lets you do four per row. Um, I'm going to come out with a new widget for our Page Builder Widgets app here pretty soon. That's going to be an upgrade to this, but this is automatically available for you guys right now in your store. So I'm going to just take this fourth one out here because I didn't want that to be a widget. Um, but let's say we want to have two rows. I'm sorry, I didn't want it to be a, a carousel. Let's say we want to have two rows. What I can do is just copy this and then change the products on this second one to you know something else, right? Or I can rearrange the products or like just whatever. It doesn't really matter what product I'm showing you guys. It's just the concept of here's how you could make a two row grid really easily and have 100% control. 
because you can click into this widget and say, okay, I don't want this one in first position. I actually want this one in first position. I'll just drag it up. Full manual control, right? Widgets are the coolest feature in big commerce in the last several years. Um, but we need a title, right? So we can go back out of here and there is a text widget here that BigCommerce gives you by default, but it doesn't let you control what type of text element it is, like is it an H2 or whatever. So if that doesn't bother you, you can use the text widget right there, or you can use the heading widget from our app, and this is one of the free widgets you can get in the Page Builder Widgets app, so you don't have to you know, spend any money to get this. Um, but you can come in here and say, okay, feature products, save, and let's make this an H2, and there you go. But let's say, you know, we call this feature products from our store or whatever you want. I'm just kind of showing you guys, like, this is how you could arrange at, this is how you could arrive at something that is uh, looking like feature products for, um, for all intents and purposes when, you're, when your visitors come to your store, and how you can have a completely customized grid, completely customized heading, you know, exactly what you want, just using widgets. So... You know, there are pros and cons to each method. The, you know, I went over the pros for the, um, the featured, the native featured products method. If you want to use widgets instead, the, the pro to this is, you, you know, it's completely uh, what you want, right? And it's not going to force any choices on you, which is cool. So I think that's really everything that you need to know about featured products at this point. Um, there's multiple ways to do it. And you know, one way isn't necessarily right for everybody, but, you know, go forth and feature some products, man. So I appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys need a team to help you with your store, reach out to us at epicdesignlabs.com. And I'm just about to put out a new video, which is going to be my top app recommendations for big commerce. So look for that in the description and check that out as well. Thank you so much.